In this video, we will continue with integration of 1 over x and 1 over ax plus b. You will find this on page 523 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Evaluate the following integrals. Okay, so I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. Just about seeing it correctly. Okay, then that's good. Okay. So it's between 4 and 2. It's a definite integral. And then they gave you this. So let's start with this one. Remember, what is the value in front of x? It's 2. So that's why it's 1 over 2. If there was a number, it would have just stand on top. Now, there's a reason why I put this absolute value bars. Luckily, we did it in, I think, grade 9. So you are familiar with that. 4 and 2. And it's more for this example, so I'll come to it. But maybe I must first read it to you. So due to the fact that lin x only is defined for x bigger than 0. So in b, lin negative 3 does not actually exist. Therefore, x is smaller than 0 then. So we say that 1 over x takes lin and we put the absolute value bar uh, plus c. So that we can change it to a positive. Okay. And this is now for this. So it is normal practice to only include the absolute value sign when finding definite integrals. Okay. So definite means there's a, a top and a bottom value. Okay. So let's start. So I'm going to substitute now the 4 and then I'm going to substitute the 2. And I'm just going to simplify. Remember, um, this is a half. So basically... I can actually take out a half. Let me just show you that step. It's not necessary. I'm actually taking a half, and then I have lin 9 minus lin 5. So don't forget your log rules, also coming from chapter 9. So it's a half, so it's going to be lin 9 over 5. And that's the final answer. If I look at this one, now remember the value in front of x, grab that sign, is negative 2. So keep the 4 on top, bring the negative 2, lin, and again this, and there's my um, boundaries, 3 and 1. And now I do it again like this. I substitute 3, I substitute 1, and look what happens. Do you see you get a negative 3, and that's why there's an absolute value bar. It changed to positive. Don't forget that lin 1 press it on your calculator, it's just 0. So 0 times 2 is just 0. And then, how did I come to this step? So it's negative len. I'm just doing that jumping up. Leave the negative there. And then it's negative len, and 3 times 3 is 9. And that is the final answer. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do for me... Okay, let's just see which ones did I give you. I want you to do B... And I want you to do C. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number B. Okay. So I have in this case 2, definite integral, 3 over 2x minus 7, and then dx. Okay. And now I'm just going to complete this. I'm going to integrate. So leave the 3 and what's in front of x over 2 and then it's lin and I can again put my bars 2x minus 7 and my boundaries will be 2 and 1. Okay, now I'm going to substitute. So first I substitute. Uh, okay, leave my bars. Let's just... And it's 2... 2 minus 7, okay, minus, and then it's 3 over 2, lin, 2, 1, minus 7. And that's 3 over 2, lin, and now it's that negative 3. And that's why the bars are there. Minus 3 over 2, len, oh, I always like, like, like it like that, len, and that's negative 5. And then I take 3 over 2 out. So actually it's becoming, 
Okay, I'm just putting in this step. It's becoming, because it's absolute value, and then I take 3 over 2 out as a common factor. I'll just show you the step. And then I do the rules of logs. What is the rules of log? If it's subtraction, then it's lin, and it's 3 over i. And that is going to be my final answer. Okay, that's number B. Let's do number C. Okay, so there it is. 4 and 1. So 1 over 2x plus 1 over x plus 1 and then dx. Okay, now in this case, although you can do it in one, but just to make it more simple, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just break it out, break it up. Do you see? Because that is what it, you're going to integrate this one and integrate nothing to do with each other. Okay, so I'm, I'm just rewriting it like that. I think it's a bit easier than with the substitution. Okay. So I'm going to start. Now this one, I take it as, and can I just show you, I take it as a half times 1 over x. That's what I'm taking it. So basically, I'm going to get a half lin x. And it's going to be 4 and 1. Plus, now this is just 1 and 1, so it's 1 over 1, so it's actually just going to be lin and then x plus 1, and then it's 4 and 1. Okay, and now I'm going to substitute. So now I'm going to say a half, lin, and, and you can put your bars again, 4. Oh, let's just, not going to have an influence here. Let me just get that 4. So lin, 4. Okay, let me get that pin. Okay, let's start again. Len 4 minus, and I'm going to first put it like this, a half len 1. Right, that's that part. Let's do this part. Plus len um, 4 plus 1, so I can just go for 5, minus len 1 plus 1, and I can just go for 2. And again, I can put my bars, but can you see it's not having an influence? Okay, and now I'm going to do, remember, lin 1 is 0, so 0. So this is just going to be a half lin 4, and I'm going to show you now how you simplify that. So plus lin 5 minus lin 2. Now, remember, I'm going to do it here on the side. Always if I want to do, I do it usually... I would rather say on this side and even move it so that I do it rather on this side. So if you look at a half len 4, it's actually a half len 2 to the power of 2. And if you follow the rule 2 to the power of 2 and you bring that half up, do you see what's happening? So you get len and 2 times a half is just 1, so it's len 2. So did you see that that becomes len 2? So this is actually len 2 plus len 5 minus len 2. And then this is cancelling out. My final answer is just len 